tie cords how to make them I'm gonna show you how to turn this here with this with this tools into this okay I got the idea of how to well I got the encouragement and uh, an idea I had to make this uh, through another youtuber his name is Gray Oak Game File. I'm gonna put a description below, a link below in the description to his channel and to the to his video. It's a video of how to make tie cords. I watched it and man, it just opened up my mind, my eyes. I mean, on how easy this is to make. And now I used to buy them for five bucks, but I figure if you make them, somebody else makes the tie cords. I mean, might as well make your own and save yourself a lot of money. It's real quick to make, real easy. Um, I'm using my tie cord anchors. Here's another one I have up here. I have a video. I'm also going to put a link to the video below on this description of how to make this. It's real simple and cheap too. Real simple and cheap. But, but yeah, man, let me get right to it. Uh, first you want to measure your, this right here is $5 at Home Depot. Real cheap. You first want to measure it, uh, whatever, whatever measurements you want. I, uh, I, like my my tie cords to be at 55 inches long i don't have a lot of space so 55 is just enough not too much not too little let me get my measuring tape okay so i got i have 55 right up here that's how long i want it i take in consideration the piece of uh the piece of pvc that i'm gonna be using so i i just add it to the 55 it's gonna be 56 uh, anyways 56 and then I give it maybe four by four inches a little more I'll cut it at 64 just so I could be sure just for the for the knot uh, also at the very beginning of it I make a small loop I don't take this two inches in consideration I make a small loop that's what's gonna go around the the anchor up here like so now close it up here with a washer I'll show you that in a bit but that's why I don't take in consideration this I want it to be 55 starting from here to the end of the of the the knot but let me show you I'm gonna cut it right at 60 okay now that it's cut I'm gonna go ahead and I already got a pre-cut piece of PVC pipe uh, Great Oak Game File also shows you a way of getting measurements and pre-drilling pre your holes. On his video, he shows you a way how to do it. Uh, well, he, he, he gets the measurements. It's about an inch each piece of uh, PVC pipe. He measures it at about a, an inch. And then he pre-drills the holes and listens to that. That's a good, good helpful tip because if you cut it and then you drill the holes, this thing is going to spin on you and you might get hurt. So... Make sure you get it measured out first and do as that dude says. It's a, it's a good thing to point out. So anyways, I have my piece up here cut up already. I want it. Sorry, chickens are getting kind of crazy. Let me get it. The next step is going to be, I don't want to show too much on this piece over here. Because this dude does a good explanation on it. I just kind of wanted to implement a few of my ideas to to his idea. And uh, this is where I got I grab a washer. That's you, you want to make this up here. So I grab one of these cheap washers. I got it from Home Depot. This is uh, galvanized washers, one fourth of an inch. It's twenty five twenty five in this little packet for for three dollars. Make sure you get yourself one of those. Uh, galvanized because they don't rust that much. If you get the zinc, they'll go, they'll rust pretty fast. So this is gonna last you a long time. This is gonna be on the ground, right? So you wanna you're gonna bury this this anchor, and you want it to be galvanized so it could withstand the weather. Let me take you to this other piece over here. Here's how I do it. I just I first pass the rope through the washer, right, like so. 
only have one hand, sorry. All right, then I'll pass, I'll loop it through the ring. And then again, once again, I'll pass it through the washer. Like so. We don't want it that much. We want it about that much right there. Okay? Then you're going to hammer the washer down. I'm going to get it started just to show you. You hammer it to bend it down. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so I got it halfway there. Just be careful. First, you got to hold it, hammer it down until it starts bending. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Once you got it like this, all you got to do is hold the rope, adjust it, and just hammer it down. Uh, I wish I could do it, but I'm, if I could do it one, with one hand, I'm sure you can do it with two. Let's see. Let me position it right. It's all about gravity, y'all. Voila! <laughs> now just hammer it. Don't, don't do it too hard because you might cut the rope. But yeah, you want to get it snug like that. You could pull on it and make sure that it's, that it's tight. And yeah, that's how you get about this part. You could burn this piece here so it won't get stuck, but it don't matter. You can burn it if you like. Anyways, then you want to put your your PVC pipe. You don't want to have it right in the middle. You want to get it a little closer to the to the anchor. Or you could get it in the middle. It doesn't really matter. I prefer it a little closer to the anchor. I'm gonna cut it right here. From there to here. I'm not sure how long it is. Just at your own preference. Yeah, I cut it now here comes now you got to burn the pieces up here both both of these pieces up here Okay, the reason why you want to burn them is so you'll be able to pass it through here Through your pre-drill hole I'm gonna use both hands one second All right, once you once you get them through just tie up a knot on this side And then you burn off that edge and even it out this will hold it and it'll be it, it'll help it swivel like so and then you burn it like so here you go then this is gonna be your swivel real cheap real functional I just wanted to uh, oh yeah I forgot the knot on this side he does an S shape let me try to show you I'm not really good at uh, I won't be really good at showing this but one second let me try this guy does it real good, so I have to go over his video and do it again. Uh, Gray Oak Game File, he, he, he shows you how to do it. So you make an S like this, and now bear with me, I haven't really mastered it <laughs> like this guy. But you make an S here, make sure this side is longer, and loop it three or four times right so and then you pass it through here like that okay and then you just burn this piece off right here so it won't slide out and you got yourself a perfect tie cord. You can add something to this so you can stop it so it won't go a little too tight. Uh, just kind of get your get your one of those plastic chicken legs, or if you have your own, I like the plastic chicken legs. The chicken foot, it's, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but uh, it's real easy to use that. Pretty much the same size. Or you could just grab your, your roosters and put it on there and make sure that it's not going to slide out. You could put a stopper here if you want. You could saw it in there or whatever you want to do. Or any idea you come up with, you get creative with it. Uh, 
So yeah, thank you, uh, Gray Oak Game File, for for posting up that video. It was real helpful. Really helped me out a lot. I compliment. I implemented my my anchor idea, and it works like a charm. I, I no longer have to buy tie cords. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something and you guys can put it to practice. Save yourself some money. And keep them growing. Have a good one. Thank you.